Morning everybody, hope you're doing well, and I hope you're excited for our final video on music history in the Mohawk Valley. Um, I'm really excited about this. I, I, I did a lot of research this morning and I actually found um, a pretty interesting musician to talk about. Um, this musician wasn't actually born in the Mohawk Valley area, but he did spend a significant amount of time here and his, his impact here was pretty long lasting. All right, this man's name was Louis Lombard. Um, and I'll give you a quick biography on Louis Lombard that I found online. Um, right here it says, Louis Lombard was one of the most extraordinary figures in the musical life of both the United States and Switzerland. He was born in Lyon, France on December 15th, 1861. All right, so that was over 150 years ago. And he died in Genoa, Italy on November 1st, 1927. He began his musical study in 1870 at the Conservatory in Marseille and completed his work in violin, song, and harmony at the Paris Conservatory. Now, the Paris Conservatory was one of the most famous, most well-known musicians' colleges of all time, ever, period. All right, some incredibly famous musicians studied there, some incredibly famous composers studied there, and Louis Léon studied there, or Louis uh, Lombard, sorry, Louis Lombard studied there. Um, in 1876, after his father died, he was engaged for a tour of the United States. So he was playing music around the country um, and remained in the country after several trips abroad until 1900. He took up the study of languages. Uh, he spoke eight languages, fun fact, and began to compose and conduct. So he wrote music and he would conduct it for orchestras and other small ensembles. Uh, his first works were published by, you know, different, uh, different publishing companies around. Um, and he became an American citizen in 1886, and he settled in Upper New York State, specifically in Utica. Um, he be, uh, buh, buh, buh. <laughs> in 1889, he founded and directed the Utica Conservatory of Music on the model of the Paris Conservatory. So what he did was he established um, a musician's college in Utica and modeled it after this most famous uh, conservatory in the world. So vocabulary time right a conservatory is a musician's college um there have been many super famous conservatories all over the world um specifically conservatories tend to focus on teaching people how to play instruments all right so there are other colleges that um kind of specialize in teaching people how to teach music like uh the crane school of music that i went to is more that model is more of a teacher's college um and a conservatory um does more with teaching people how to become masters of instruments or singing, all right? Um, there are still some conservatories in New York State, um, but a lot of them now kind of focus on, on, on teaching. And the Utica Conservatory did have a teacher's college aspect to it, um, but, but mostly it was used for intense study of different instruments or singing, so you can uh, really hone in your craft. So there was a musician's college, a conservatory, in Utica for a long for a long time yeah um it's really neat and they had different musicians from all over the world come and teach there and come and study there and they would give performances and I think that's really neat I wasn't actually able to find a whole lot of information about the conservatory itself um other than that it was a small collection of faculty and people would go and study there and they would either like I said learn how to become music teachers or learn how to become uh, performers, some really good performers. Um, so it was Louis Lyon, Louis Lombard. He was born in Lyon. There's too many L's going on. Uh, Louis Lombard, yeah, he was born in France. He moved to Utica for a while. He established a musician's college on Devereux Street in 1889. I think that's really neat. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about Louis Lombard, um, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Take care.